Hey guys, what's up? Max Peters here down at Scooter Hut Melbourne. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grip your scooter. So, we're going to do a full deck today, front to back. So you're going to need your grip tape, you're going to need your dip, you're going to need a pen to draw your lines and stuff like that. You're going to need your cutting utensils, a Stanley knife or a scissors, I don't know, whatever you want to use. I prefer a Stanley knife. You're going to need some tools. I only need a 5 mil Allen key though, and then I'm doing my brake bolt, so nice and simple. And of course, you're going to need a ruler. So let's get it started. All right, guys, so first thing you want to do, obviously, you want to make sure that your grip tape is going to be the length of the full deck, because if it isn't, it's not going to work for you. You're just going to have to do it from the head tube. But luckily, this grip tape's the whole thing. So you've got a logo in the middle. If you're running Halo Grip, you're running anything like that, I'm running this Phoenix grip tape, so I've got a logo in the middle. I want to have that centered. So first of all, you want to try and get it centered best, as best as you can. I usually put a finger at my head tube here, and at my brake. I try and make sure the uh, logo, whatever you want to call it, whatever it could be in the middle, is in the center, obviously. So I try to keep an even distance between my fingers and the logo here. And then once that one is done, you want to reach over here, grab your pen, hold it nice and still, and then underneath the brake, or underneath uh, the grip tape here at the back, you just want to draw a nice little line, like so. And then flip it over, then put it, the line at the end of your deck, same thing. Draw a nice line at the front, and that's how you know the length of your grip tape. So I'm gonna cut that now. Alrighty guys, if you don't have a square like this one here, a ruler will work just fine. You just gotta try and get it as straight as you can. So I'm just gonna rule a nice straight line on here. The front, go over to the back side now. Same thing, just try and get it as straight as you can. Well, you don't actually have to do it. Damn it! Right, back to it, back to it we go. So we're going to truck trim it. Truck, 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 truck. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Same thing again. Cut it. Woo! Out of here we go. Alrighty. So now it's the size of my deck. So that means it's going to be nice and centre, which is going to make things a lot easier for me. Alrighty, so depending on what deck you guys have, you're going to have to take the brake board out. Uh, I've got a V4 here, so I'm not going to have to at the moment because um, the, the actual brake hole isn't bird, so I'll uh, explain why at the end of the video. Um, but anyways, just triple check the length's right. Looks pretty good. So what we're going to do, put it at the front here for you guys. So you want to put the grip tape right to the front of your scooter, and then just behind the head tube here. So you want to line it up with the weld on your head tube. Just draw a nice little line there to mark it out. Same thing with the back. Just hold it in the same spot. And where the back of the scooter is, where the brake, just in front of the brake, same thing. Nice little line. Bit of a guidance here. Flip that scooter 90 degrees. Bam! On there it goes. So you want to try and get the grip tape nice and straight so it's not on an angle. So when you do cut it out, it's not going to be wonky. So you want to have it nice and straight. Same thing again. This time on the sides of the welds on the head tube here, you want to do a nice line, just like that one. Doesn't have to be super precise because we're going to cut that out soon, anyways. Then for the back, we're going to do the same thing. Nice and simple. Again, try and have it as straight as you can so when you do cut it, it is going to be nice and straight. So this one looks pretty good. Again, on the each side of the brake here, where the, I don't know where the, where the wheel would go in, I guess, you just draw a nice straight line like so. Get a bit aggressive, sorry guys. Once you have your Three lines, as you can see. Get your square out or your ruler that you're using today. Again, as straight as you can. Doesn't doesn't matter too much if you don't really care about a sloppy job. Unlike me, I don't really care how my grip tape is. As long as she's grippy, same thing. Rule. So I've done the sides like that. Again, flip it all the way to the front. As you can tell, it's kind of a small gap, so that's going to be my back brake. If you guys get a bit confused on what you want to cut out, just draw some squiggly lines on there. So you know you've got to cut that part out, so it makes it easier in the long run. Now, we're going to do the front part where the head tube is. Same thing with the square, try and line it up as straight as you can. Again, it's going to be better if the straighter, because it's not going to look as funny. 
So, again, we're just going to draw some lines in here so I know what part to cut out, so I don't go cutting out the wrong part. Don't need that anymore, that can go. You ready? For the head tube, because as you can see here, it's got a bit of a bit of a curve in there. So we're gonna use the scissors for this part. Arts and crafts time, here we go. Alrighty. You wanna leave a slight gap when you get to the bottom and you wanna start curving it in, obviously to match the curve on the weld on the head tube there. Out of here you go. Alrighty. So we'll put that on there. Look at that, it looks pretty good. Alright. So now, we're going to do the back. We're at the end stage here. We've got the nice cut out. The reason I had the brake bolt on here is because I want to put it on the back and then I want to just push around the brake bolt like this. Like so. Yeah. Push down nice and hard, as you'll see, it'll leave a nice circle in there for you. That gives you a bit of a guidance to cut it out. So we get the sand enough. I'm gonna cut it around. So it doesn't matter how you cut this one here, because it's most likely, you know, the brake, it's gotta go to the brake bolt. So the bigger the better, I guess, then it won't get, when you tighten your brake bolt, it won't get squished. But everything's looking pretty good. Nice. Righty, so now I'm going to take my brake bolt out. We're going to peel the back of the grip tape off. It's nice and easy. Don't want to tear it. Don't want to rip the grip tape in half and have to start again. Terrible. Not fun. Or you don't want to do it upside down. Completely ruin your grip tape. That would suck. Get out of here. I'm going to line it up with the back here. So that my brake bolts in the center. Sweet. And then I'm going to wrap it around the head tube. Like so. Once you've stuck the grip tape on fully, you want to make sure it's on there nice and flat and there's no bubbles in there. You want to grab your fiber allen key or whatever tool you have at the moment. And you want to just go along the edge. You want to see a nice white line. The reason we do this guys is because when you do want to cut it with your Stanley knife, it's just going to cut a lot easier. It's going to make it a lot easier for you guys. A bit more convenient. Same thing again, five minute long key. Now, I'm gonna come around your side, Sean. When I'm doing this, I like to put my deck in a 50-50 position like this. Makes it easier to cut it. And you don't want to be going towards yourself, but you know what, I'm gonna do it anyways, because it's a bit more convenient for me. You just wanna lightly bring the knife along it. As you can see on the V4 here, I'll lift the grip tape up so you can see, you've got a nice groove, so it's gonna be easy for me to cut. So you want to line your, your knife up with that groove. Easy as that. Alrighty, I'm going to split it back. Yep, straight off it goes. Same thing, turn it around, switch 50-50. You want to keep going along with it. Now remember guys, don't just yank it towards yourself slowly if you're using a salmon knife. Um, like I said, do you have your parents or ask your parents first before you do this? Well, it's pretty dangerous this time enough, but same thing again, against the groove. I'm not even doing it very hard, it just wants to come off. Same thing, like that. Now, we're going to get the uh, brake bolt, place it in the 5 alarm key, like that. And we're going to do it up. Alrighty guys, as you can see, the grip tape is on, it looks pretty good. It's nice and easy to do, you guys can do this from home. Um, obviously, if you want to buy some grip tape, www.scooterhut.com.au or you can come into our store. If you come in store, we can do it for you. If not, like I said, do it from home. Simple as that, you guys know how to do it from now on. But if there's any other tutorials you guys would like to do, greasing headsets, changing wheel bearings, whatever, hit us up in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe, give us a like, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but peace out.